What's up, Daisy fans? Cowboy here, and we're continuing our adventures in Janaris. So, uh, on the previous life, I ended up getting picked off some prick bandit. I was just, uh... It pissed me off. Like, the guy didn't even say anything. Like, all I did was I, I heard a gunshot, and I, like, dipped into cover and was like, shit, 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 you know, I should probably just fucking log out. And I kept creeping around, and sure enough, there was some asshole just waiting to take a shot on me the second he could. And then I spawned, got along, got out some good gear, managed to, uh, managed to even find a fucking magnum and some 357 rounds. And what happens? Some douches kill me for a can of beans. So, here we are again. We're pretty outfitted this time, though. We're... <laughs> One of the best runs I've had yet. As you can see, I got a 35 slot backpack, got more than enough drinks, food, water, found a um, PU scope, which actually, I wonder if I can attach that to my Mosin. I can. That's fucking sick. Um, don't got any ammo for it yet, but we do got a firefighter's axe, can opener, two first aid kits, and we got handcuffs. So we find somebody that's an asshole, gonna handcuff him. Check their shit. Possibly leave them for dead. I haven't decided yet. But we are uh, making our way into this little settlement right here. Um, I'm trying to remember the town. I just got done. Um, let me see what it's called. We are coming off of Baronzino right now. So if we're leaving Baronzino. Um, you follow this road all the way down, and there's another shopping mall here. We're not shopping all, but a grocery store. So we're gonna check that for some lootage and then make our way continue along this path to another area that's a high yield weapon spot hopefully I can um, snatch up a magnum or some ammunition for my emotion but yeah, I'm quickly learning that um, in general I don't fucking trust anybody in this game <clears throat> like I've made two friends so far that are like I legitimately trust and I have them on Steam, and whenever they're playing, I usually try to play with them in the server they're on, but like, out of just random encounter, like so far, I, I'll say this, I've had one positive encounter with um, people that were actually geared out in the open. There was a group where I was a fresh spawn, and there was like six of them, and I was like, I'm, I'm friendly, please don't kill me. And they're like, oh, we're all going to Electro. And we all went, oh, fuck yeah, is that a compass? Oh my god, yes. All about the compass. But so, um, I basically made my way to Electro with this group. And, uh, everything was all hunky-dory and, um, you know, going along. And eventually, um, on this journey to Electro, I'm sorry, I don't have a canteen yet, I gotta keep that water bottle. Um... I ended up, like, there, like, we knew there were some people in the area that were shooting, so we were just playing cautious and all, and sure enough, the second those pricks had an opportunity to take a shot, they did. Took the shot, took me out, and I was just like, no, Electro Buddies, avenge me! So, I can only assume that they fucking absolutely slaughtered that banded asshat, because the guys I was with were fucking geared, like, they had M4s and shit, Stacked up attachments, ammo, all that goodness. So, and then um, well, one of the friends I've made, he was also a fresh spawn that I wandered about with, and the last friend I made was a bandit hunter. Which uh, I'd imagine, if you're gonna have friends, a bandit hunter is probably a good one to have, right? But anyway, so now that we've cleaned this place out, it's, oh, it's a zombie. Oh, the firefighter's axe one-shots those pricks. I've also learned to take things a lot slower. I'm beginning to, like, check corners and shit. <clears throat> so we're going to be going down this way. And this road should lead us towards a high-value area. Actually, I think I'm going to sprint for a bit here. Hopefully there's enough buildings that if I hear a gunshot, I can juke behind something and either find my assaulter or walk out and just come back at a later time. 
but yeah, so far, man, I'm, I'm learning real fast that the world of DayZ is a fucking ruthless, ruthless place. Like, like I said, like, man, we, we were suited up, had the Magnum, had some gear, had a little backpack. You know, we're just making along our way, and then these assholes fucking, they kill, they shoot me. <clears throat> we were up in a building, they couldn't get us. And, uh, we basically had, like, a choke point, but it was like, you know... Mexican standoff, because if we came down the stairs, they were going to shoot us. If they came up the stairs, we were going to shoot them. We should have just fucking said, fuck it, and logged out. But instead, we tried to hold our ground, and I was all like, I think you guys should just leave and go on your way. And then we peeked out of the building, and sure enough, these pricks had been waiting in an apartment building to shoot us. Took my beans, made my friend take off his pants, and they were like, do you want to play a game? And then he said, well, fuck this, and he just ran, and they shot him, so... Yeah, definitely, um, no lack of douchery in DayZ. Plenty of douches to go around. And fuck you. Why can't I hit this fucking zombie? And I'm not bleeding from that? Sweet. Let's check this. This looked like it was a high yield location. Not a cola. And are those 357s? They are. Oh shit. Yeah, we're grabbing that. 357 rounds are always a plus. And I really have way too much fucking soda. Like if I find a fresh blood, I'm just going to be like, here little one, let me help you. Mm. And I will take the helmet just because protective helmets are always a plus. Close that. Let's check upstairs. I really need to find some um, ammunition for my rifle. Because now that I am actually am getting like geared out, like the last thing I want to do is run into somebody that has a gun <clears throat> while I have no ammunition. I mean, just seeing somebody with a backpack that's as big as the one I have, that's usually a uh, usually a reason for people to, to try and kill you. They're just like, oh, I happen to notice that you have a large backpack. I would like that for myself. And then they try and kill you. Bunch of pricks. Right, so this isn't the building that I wanted. There should be a high yield equipment building coming up here. There's the long stretch. Should be this guy, I believe. First aid kit. Those are always nice. Which I simply don't have the inventory space for it. First aid kit ruined, ruined. Why are they ruined? Uh, let me look inside this one. This is my backup kit. Okay. Let me put this one here. Take it out of your hands. Put this one on the ground. And nope, there was the take first day kit. There we go. Alright, let's see what's inside this guy. 100, 180. Oh wow, that's like a pristine fucking bag. Um. Alright, I'll just hang on to it. Give it to my mate when I meet up with him eventually. Stairs. Yeah, these corner pub buildings are usually um, pretty good for finding supplies. Crowbar. I'll take some sardines. Actually, I got way too much fucking coke and shit. Let me slim this down some. Water. Don't need that. Let me grab the food. Food is good. Um, weapon box, ammo pliers, I got a lot of shit right now, right? Look at all this, goodies galore, baby. Um, okay, well, whoever's gonna find this is gonna be happy when all that stuff eventually populates. We're like, oh my lord, look at all the things. And 
that looks like a weapon kit. Let's see what condition this thing's in. My current one is badly damaged. You are badly damaged. Oh, fuck it. I'll take it. I haven't had to actually use a weapon cleaning kit because I can't survive for more than a few hours once I actually get a gun. Let alone a gun and ammunition. And that's one thing that's funny. Like, I, I read that, um... <sighs> magnums spawn fairly often. But, uh, despite that, I have had a lot more luck finding 357 rounds than I have finding the actual magnums, which I find that kind of funny. But, uh, let me see. Squiggly Road. Okay. I should be coming up right when the road splits. There should be a high priority spawn for weapons in one of these rooms. So, there's our road that leads back. Should be right inside here. Ah, it's one of the, uh, the sweatshop buildings. I don't know what the hell they're called. I'm just calling them sweatshops. But these are always um, high chance weapon spawns. Usually it's stuff like axes and shit. But, um, I mean, hey, you know, weapon's a weapon. Even though I already have an axe, you never know. You might be able to find a Olsen or a revolver or something in here. Uh. Battery? Don't need that. I just realized I don't even have my fucking flashlight. Pepsi. Hmm. Don't really like that all these doors are open. Means that somebody's already been here. I doubt they're still around. But you never know. Is that another compass? Oh yeah it is. And this is just shit I'm picking up for my meet up with my companions. Or perhaps to make a friend. You know, supply somebody with a, a compass and other goodies. Alright, so at this point, we need to decide where we're going to go. Part of me wants to make my way north up towards the airstrip again and uh, see how that goes down. I mean, I've never really made my way west, like towards the the other airstrip out there and the military bases, but I have a feeling that those are going to be fucking loaded with bad guys, regardless. So let's make our way to the top airstrip, and then we can swing over to Svlet Jarks, I guess it's called. <laughs> I don't fucking know. So here we go, YouTube really is time for an adventure in Shinara, so we're going to make our way up towards the airstrip. It's a ways away. Oh, oh, what am I doing here? Put that away. And go to speed mode. My guy keeps doing this like, ah. I'm not bleeding. I'm full on food. I'm full on water. I'm going to try to avoid the main road as I zip through the city, just because I mean, you never know. You know, if somebody's lurking, I feel like I'm better off cutting through little side paths and in between houses and shit. Maybe buy me some time. Dodge a bullet. And then you have to vault the fence. <laughs> Slow as possible. What's up, zombie? Got no interest in you, brah. We're going to make our way. We'll follow the main road, I suppose. Maybe I can... I mean, I'd love to make a traveling companion. Because these roads do get quite lonely. And you're all on the road by yourself. Nothing but zombies. And I want to say there was like three... I think I joined like a 29 out of 40, so there should be people around just... Maybe they're all electro, but the increasing volume of zombies I'm seeing tells me that there's not many people where I'm going. And that's scary, though, because, you know, when you get up to these these uh, farther north regions where there's nobody around, and that's, like, that's a common survival tactic in this game for a lot of people, you know? It's like, just go north. But you go up there, and there's, like, one other guy that's north, and because he... You know, he hasn't been around people in so fucking long 
when he sees you, he just he's like, oh my god, and he just shoots on sight without even, doesn't signal friendly, doesn't ask if you're friendly, doesn't try to even communicate, just sees a person, shoots his gun. And it's like, dude, like, what if I was bringing you a bunch of supplies? Well, I mean, given he'll take them off my corpse, so it won't matter, but still, like, like, I'll say this. I consider myself, as much as I usually hate people, I like to think that there is good in humanity in general. I'd like to believe that. And just with bandits and like the douchers yesterday that I encountered that decided to to kill me for my can of beans and I mean given those those are bandits I just wanted to give special recognition to those douchebags out there because I really hope that when they're trying to get their their first wife pregnant that she has an abortion and dies during the abortion because then they will understand the pain they caused me when they killed me for a can of beans but anyway my point is that when you encounter people like that in this game, it like it really takes away the faith that you do have. And and not just in humanity in general, but like in a sense I guess this game does do that. Like you start like the shit that you will encounter in DayZ will make you question humanity. Just cuz you're like really like you know, I I had nothing like you could be a fresh spawn with nothing but a fucking you know, crowbar, and there's still people who will just take the opportunity to fucking kill you. Because that's just who they are, and it really makes you start to be like, is this is this what life is meant to be like? Just people being douchebags and killing on sight? Crazy. But, so as you can see, we're making our way over to Rifty. Um, in one of my previous lives, the one where I made it over the airfield, I swung by this ship first, and it's pretty stacked. There's tons of supplies on it. Um, found a couple large capacity backpacks, Molson's, M4s. So, I'm hoping it'll be the same. And, oh, I'm thirsty. And, let me, um, well, let me. I'll fix that. A little bit of water. Actually, I haven't even pulled on my Molson yet. Let's see what the... Oh, wow. That is a shit scope. I'm not even sure. I'd imagine I can, like, click the little notches on this scope to, to make it better if I only knew how. suppose those are things I'll learn over time, though. Anyway, we're going to run up on the ship. Um, as I mentioned, generally, there's some good loot spawns on the ship, and because it's, it's you know, kind of out here in the middle of nowhere, it's relatively untouched. So, hopefully I have the same luck I did last time I visited the ship. I'd love to pick up an M4 or a Magnum or something, because as much as I appreciate having a gun, I'd much better appreciate one that I could actually shoot. I mean, even just fucking ammo. <laughs> you know, even if it's ammo for the Molson, that's, that's better than what I got now. Let's make our way up the ship. <clears throat> now, one thing about when you find a, a ship like this, um, you do got to be a little cautious. And, and, and not so much because of the possibility of bandits, because... I haven't seen them out here. I mean, this is really a bit remote, I think, for a lot of a lot of bandit type people. Hmm. But uh, because everything here is like catwalks and shit, if you're not um, paying attention to where you're walking, it's it's really easy for you to just fall and and basically die from just fall damage in an area like this. White T-shirt damaged. Uh. Plain white t-shirts indicate somebody would be nearby. Potentially. And what is this? Powdered milk. Ooh, it's pristine. Why not? I'll take some powdered milk. Maybe I'll get tired of eating the same shit. Alright, now weapons. 
gas lamp. What are those? 45 ACP rounds, pixel cartridge design. Uh, well, I mean, ammo is ammo, you know. We're gonna, we're gonna take it. Uh, and this is where I found an M4 last time. No such luck. Shovel. Baseball bat. All kinds of shit around here. A wrench. Fireman's axe. Okay, so this place is like untouched practically. What is that? I guess it's just textures. Uh. Oh, I don't see anybody. Well, let's keep scouring. Maybe we can find something. Nothing. Keep your head warm. But I have a motorbike helmet already. I don't need that. Is that a canteen? No, it's a fucking rock. I don't want a rock. Why is my guy grunting and shit? Like, you're not dying, bro. You're fine. You're not hungry. You're not starving. You're not bleeding. You sure as fuck weren't injured because I just woke up from sleeping all damn night. I know you've been sitting here doing absolutely fucking nothing. Let's check this floor. I know I'm scanning these um, little compartments just relatively quick, not even really going into them, but in general, I haven't found much in those compartments at times. I have been to this ship, so I'm thinking there's uh, better places to spend my time searching. Screwdriver. Hmm. I gotta say, the ship is. There's tons of stuff here, just nothing that's of value to me. sure how much stuff there is that I just can't see from where I'm at, so I will will run over to the other side of the ship. It won't hurt. And look, there we go. Some shotgun shells. A quick loader. Um, what are we going to get rid of? we got to get rid of some more shit. We don't need all this. One bottle of water is fine. That bottle of water is empty. Um, take clips. And fuck the powder milk. I don't want powder milk. Got a compass on me already. Let me toss out that compass. 12 gauge buckshot, 45 ACP rounds, hella quick loader, 357 rounds. I'm finding fucking ammunition for everything but the gun I have. Tis the life of a daisy player. Either way, let's head down to the bottom. One good thing is, I mean, I haven't seen anybody for fucking miles in this place, so. That's good. That means I'm probably uh, probably alone here. And these rooms uh -oh. usually do have stuff, so I will look in these little bunk rooms. What is that? Summer hunter pants. Hello. Can opener. Emergency food, emergency drink, and boom. Yeah, we're looking good now. It's a canvas red shirt. Don't need a red checkered shirt at all. Um, let's swing over here, check this side of things. Nothing. Checked. Yeah, we just ran in a circle. Okay. 
And that's the one thing about the ship. You, it, it does get kind of confusing when you're trying to navigate through this fucking ship, because it's kind of like a little bit of a labyrinth. Like, until you... I mean, I'm sure after enough time playing, I'll I'll have the ship memorized down to where I'm just like, bloop, 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 and I know exactly where to run, exactly what rooms to check. But for the time being, it's certainly not the case. And... Yeah, you can see, like, I just ran down a set of stairs and it brought me to literally nowhere, so... Um, let's... Maybe we gotta go up one floor? Yeah, I think so, because we're in, like, personal quarters cabin areas. No, not here. What the fuck, where am I going? This way, and we're out onto the ship. What's that? That's a stone we saw earlier. So you gotta like take care. Like one fall here, more than likely you're fucking dead. All right. Um, what are these anyway? Oh, it's just that white shirt that was rags we saw initially. I think this will take us out. Will it? Oh no, we're not going out that way. This will take us out though. run through the other side of the ship really fast, which is a lot more um, of an open layout than the current part we were just in, so we'll be able to, to sweep it quicker. Actually, you know, I don't know why I'm even looking here. I doubt I'm going to find anything on this ship of value, a bandana. I mean, it's not that not to say that there's not valuable items on this ship, but just as loaded out as my current character is... I don't think this ship is really going to have anything to offer to me. Uh. Like, I have a lot of a lot of the, the stuff you look for, like starter items. Yeah, fuck it, we're just going to leave. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that I would find on this ship is like, you know, backpacks, found a backpack, compass, some food, some water. I don't need any of that shit. At this point, I need guns and ammunition, and there are way better places to find it than uh, the ship at Rifty, so... make our way out. I think when I found that M4 last time, that was just a, a quick bit of luck. Make our way. Alright, so <clears throat> from Rifty, if we make our way out west, we'll hit uh, Krasnatov, and north of there is the airstrip, where I died on my previous flight when I came all the way up north. So, we're going to make it to that airstrip. We're going to be ultra-cautious while we're approaching. Keep an eye out for people that are just waiting and lurking because that's what fucking people do in this game. And I mean, with with three high yield weapon spots, we make it successfully to that airstrip. We're gonna be walking out of it with with fucking gear. You don't leave the airstrip without being fucking stacked. And even then, it's it's like a lesser airstrip. It's not a big one at all. I'd love to make a traveling companion, though. Alright, I gotta go this way. I'm running towards, like, Willow Lake right now, I think. Yeah, I gotta cut this way. It'll, it'll be the road that'll lead me towards Krasnov, and I can cut across to the airstrip. And we are hungry. Let's see, what are we eating? Let's, um... Open some canned spaghetti. A good tip that I've learned too is when you get your hungry status, even though one little bit of eating will obviously fill you up, if you, um, instead of, you know, just eating once, eat the entire can, just because it's going to, even though, like, you know, like you can't see your hunger value, it will fill your character up more, and, um, I'm sure it'll take a lot longer before you're hungry again, so. I always try and eat a whole can, and then just that way I think I'm, I'm better off. Okay. Here we go. Super sprint mode. And that's the road we wanted that's heading towards Krasnatov. 
me zoom in real quick on our side map here just to get a good idea of where I'm going to be searching when I hit the airstrip all right got the airstrip buildings marked out one two three three high weapon yield spots if I don't find fucking if I don't find a gun and some awesome ammunition there then cards are just not in my favor and there's the railroad and no wait a minute here I think I scrolled into my map too much let me see where the railroad goes. Where does the railroad go? Willow Lake. Huh. I'm not sure. I think we have to go like this way. Actually, you know what? Better idea. Let me fucking just look at the damn compass. And inspect. Uh. I am heading northwestish. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to go northwest, so that's good. <clears throat> Didn't even think until now. I'm like, holy shit! I have a fucking compass. I can use that to get direction. this little slope my guy stopped sprinting he's like I can't sprint up that slope it's too much I gotta say man even though I'm in a <coughs> 35 slot backpack I'm fucking stacked right now and given a lot of that is you know I, I have gear for when I meet up with friends um, I might end up having to having to just toss all that gear just because I mean like while you're, lo if you're looking at it while we're running here I got you know the extra weapon cleaning kit the extra first aid kit more than enough food to survive for a while. Coming up on a big town that has a grocery store, some high yield clothing, and the airstrip, I'll be fucking stacked once I make my way there. And I don't think the water is supposed to be this close. I feel like I'm running somewhere that I'm not supposed to be. Which, yeah, I am. I need to cut across straight west. I'm making my way towards Svletjasark right now, or however the fuck you're supposed to pronounce it. So, um,. Where's my compass at? Okay, I want to. This is. I want to go like that. Okay, now we're good. Well, I hear zombies. West from the water should leave me, and this should basically, how, considering how far north I've been running mistakenly, I'm pretty sure this will put me right across Black Lake, and then I'll come up onto the airstrip. And, and it, actually, I should even run across the deer stand along the way, if my directions are right here. Looks like the valley I was expecting. Is that a road? No, oh, wait a minute. Where am I at here? Dirt road, curved slightly. Black Lake should be right over that hill. Let's see if this road cuts off and goes to the right. I know my position. And it hits the split. It does. Alright, so Black Lake's that way. Hmm. So it's gonna be a deer stand. Which I haven't had luck with deer stands, but this is my first encounter on water. Well, I mean like actually running through water. So this is Black Lake. second there I thought I wasn't able to swim. I was like, that's a fucking issue. Alright, let's swim in. 
I mean, we got a heavy coat on and some long pants and boots. We're gonna be fine. I doubt we'll get, like, hypothermia or anything. Though that would be a funny way to die. We got all the way up here and we die from fucking hypothermia because we swam across the fucking lake. That would be the shittiest way to possibly die. But, I mean, hey, it's a nice day out. It's sunny. Alright, so we should pink this hill, we'll hit a deer stand, and we'll see the airstrip. <clears throat> and then we're going to get some fucking weapons, guys. Yeah. Exciting weapon time. And actually, let me, um, quick here, let me just check my compass just to make sure I'm still going west, and I think I am. Let me just get a little closer to it. Inspect. Yes, I am. West is this way. <coughs> Excellent. What are you crying about, survivor? Stop your moans and groans. But yeah, deer stands, from my understanding at least, is that deer stands are usually a good place to, you know, find ammo, old rifles, attachments. But so far, I've only, I mean, I've encountered one deer stand. So, given my um, my sample size is pretty fucking small, but there was just nothing. And it was like a deer stand in the middle of nowhere, so, you know, I kind of assumed there would be stuff located at it. But, um, yeah, not the case at all. I don't see this damn deer stand that I was supposed to come to. Where the hell is it at? Oh well, I'm not that concerned about it. We're seeing fucking poles and stuff, so that means we're approaching our destination. We should hit a road right before we're getting close to the airstrip. And are those? No, those are rocks, not houses. Well, either way, I'm just gonna keep going west, and um, yeah, that'll work for me really hoping that it's the airstrip on the other side of this tree line, but I'm not entirely sure. And I don't want to just sprint out onto an open airstrip, because that's like the recipe for getting fucking shot. But there's zombies chasing me now. At least I heard one, so we're going to keep sprinting. I don't know what I fear more. A zombie killing me while I alt-tab to look at a map and I'm stopped, or a person that decides they're going to kill me just because... That's how they are. Uh. Right. Roads, 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 roads. There's a road. No. Yes? Yes, that's a road. Alright. Roads and telephone lines. And I see buildings. That means we're getting close. I'm not sure if those are the... I don't think those are the airstrip buildings, no. Hmm. Let me see here, this road. Actually, you know, I think I know where we're at. If I go up this way, there should be... If there's a little water fountain at this town... <coughs> not even town, but it's like a little house out on the prairie. I think... Yeah, I'm starting to recognize this. I think this is the little uh, three-way split and there should be a water fountain and then I just cut straight northeast and that takes me to the airstrip. But so far, all's quiet. I haven't run into into any people, let alone zombies, so that's, that's a plus. And is there a water pump? Is there a water pump? Should be a water pump. This is from where I think I am. Maybe I'm not where I think I am. I don't know. I'm getting concerned now. No, wait. Yeah, this has to be it. I don't see the water pump though. That has me thinking I'm not where I want to be. But I don't know where else the fuck I would be. Fuck it, we're just gonna run this way. I 
know if we follow the road. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're we're there. I think. Uh, just crashed enough. Should be that way. Unless this is crashed enough here. I don't know. No. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is the hook in the road. Hmm. Well, no. We see a water pump here. Wait. Yeah. I see. That it looks like a split. And a water pump. Yes, there is a water pump there. Water pump. Bingo. And with the water pump, that means that is Krasnostov. And that this uh. way will lead us out to the airstrip. There she is on the horizon. Alright, so this is where shit gets real. Because those two buildings are high yield weapon spawn locations. There's a third one on the airstrip that's also high yield. So we need to... We need to get low. Hmm. Honestly, I'm fucking scared for my life. I almost feel like I might be better off just making a dead sprint for it. before you make a mad dash to try and survive. All right, here we go. Boom. Super speed. I'm serpentining. We reached those two buildings when they're clear. So we got those two and then a third building over there that are all high yield. Make it into that building, into that door. Don't see anybody yet. Fuck, there's a fence. Yes, there's an opening in the fence. Nice and slow. Matches. Uh, you guys have no idea how fucking scared I am right now. Last time I was here, this is right where I got shot. Black cargo pants. Hmm. I like my summer hunter pants better. Some badly damaged beige working gloves. And is this a wow? See, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that fucking full stacked backpack. Just chilling. And are those jungle boots. I got green wellies that are damaged. Let's see. These are worn. Fuck yeah, put those bitches on. Uh. Fuck the wellies. Say hello, jungle boots. Alright, so far. And damn. What is that? Alcohol tincture. Fuck yeah, I want that. Uh, yeah, you can see why it's a high yield. You got your choice of a. Uh, 
wood splitting axe, fireman's axe, and a baseball bat, but I think we're in the clear. I think this is... I don't think anybody else is here, otherwise we probably would be dead already. I can't imagine they would have uh, allowed me to just roam these halls like this. Alright, so that's one building of the airstrip cleared. to the second building of the airstrip. Oh. Is that another backpack? Yeah, it's a blue one too. Alright, and we did drink our last beer, so we might as well snag that up. And an M4 buttstock and pristine. I like that. Is that another? God damn, that's three 35 slot backpacks. 20 round, another mag round. Uh. And we're getting fucking stacked on loot here. This is nuts. Finding everything we could want except for a fucking gun. And is that? Oh yeah. Oh yes. Fuck yeah. Gas mask. Oh my god, I'm out in the open, I'm out in the open, I'm out in the open, I'm out in the open. M4 buttstock MP, isn't that what we have? Except we have a pristine. Oh no, we have OE. Oh, uh, we'll grab, what's the difference? Magpul buttstock for M4-1 Corbine, uh -oh. and this is a standard buttstock that comes as a default to Corbine. Um, we'll keep that one. What about these? Are these in better condition than our current boots? Jungle boots beige worn. Jungle boots beige worn. Oh no, my god, I can't believe I'm walking up on this roof. I feel like I'm just a big fucking target that people are waiting to take a shot at. Though, I mean, I do gotta say, the last time I was at this airstrip, um, I heard gunshots. And a smart person would have heard the gunshots and just said, fuck it, and hit the deck. And then probably, you know, disconnected. Either found a different server, or or perhaps just, you know, stayed logged off by a while. Said, you know, it's time to eat lunch, I think. No. I heard gunshots, and then slowly decided, I'm going to creep around and try to find who's shooting at me. Like a fucking idiot. So, um, yeah, I mean, I can't really hold anyone accountable for my death besides my own stupidity the last time I was here. Despite the fact that I was shot in the back by a bandit piece of shit when I wasn't paying attention. And I gotta say, like, I'm getting kind of slightly annoyed because we have our Mosin 9130. Look at this. We got fucking 20 round 556 millimeter. 40 rounds, actually. We got shotgun rounds. We have the 45 ACP rounds. And... Vitamins? Badly damaged? Vitamins are still good. I will take those. Like, the only thing we need is... You know, some... A fucking weapon that we can use. I mean, it's not that my Molson's bad, it's just that we can't fucking use it at all. And a water bottle? I will take that. For sure. Water bottles are good. Put move this baby down here. Move these vitamins. Wait, why am I crouching? I don't think there's anybody here. Oh, what was that? More 45 ACP rounds. Can I combine these? Combine them. And what else was there? A Pepsi and a can of sardines. Sure. I love sardines. Uh. Another beer. Guess I'm gonna take it. I like beer. Finding lots of beer around here. Now, for being a high yield weapons location, there's a lot of fucking shit I don't need. I don't need this, I don't need this. I'll just keep the water bottle and the Pepsis. 
and then the two beers, because beer is good. Uh. Come on, baby, there's got to be a fucking gun around here. What is this, a military barrette? Oh no, that looks terrible. Oh well, it's already on us. Alright, these... Worn. Worn. Cloth rags. Jesus Christ, another fucking backpack. Orange Mountain. <coughs> jungle boots, black. Oh yeah, we'll take the jungle boots. <sighs> jungle boots to be serious business. And a, well, I mean, if we're going to have a military barrette, might as well be green to go with the rest of the shit we're rocking. And on that note, I think we have successfully swept the entire airstrip without encountering uh, uh. anybody. So, uh, yeah. But, um, hmm. Considering where we're at, we have made our journey from Baranzino all the way to the airstrip. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to find a gun, but um, we're looking pretty suited up, so hopefully we'll find a gun soon enough, and for now at least, this is Cowboy signing out. So, hope you guys are enjoying the DayZ. Obviously, there's going to be plenty more of this to come along with Dota, so stay tuned for more DayZ in the future, and we'll catch you guys with the, the next part.